Assalamualaikum and hello everyone. In this video, we will explain about packaging and labeling. Okay, first of all, we will go to the definition of packaging. Packaging is all the activities involved in developing and providing a container with graphics for a product. Next, we will move to the functions of packaging. First of all, the function is to protect the product and maintain its functional form. Second, it offers consumer convenience. The third one is to promote the product by communicating its features, uses, benefits, and images. Next, we move to design consideration. There are six points in design consideration. The first point is cost. It is important to use the material which has a good quality but within your budget. Next is single or multiple units. You can see this picture to differentiate between single and multiple units. Next is consistency among package design which is family packaging. So what is family packaging? Family packaging means that all the products under a brand have a similar type of visual packaging. So that easy for us to recognize the product. So the next point is promotional role, which is about seeing the feedback about the design and the function of packaging to give more satisfied to the customer. The next point is needs of intermediaries. The last point is about environmental responsibility, which is about product development involves a consideration for system ability, environmental responsible and recycling regulation. Okay guys, Next, we move to labeling. What is labeling? Labeling is the presentation of information on a product or its package. Labeling may include nine things in it. Okay guys, I will use all this product to explain to all of you how labeling works. First, brand name and mark. This is the example of brand name and mark which includes many forms such as words, number, logos and etc. Second, trademark and symbol. Okay, the next example is for trademark symbol which any form of brand or trade names used in trade. The R symbol represent the registered trademark while the TM symbol represent the unregistered trademark. Third, package size and content. This is the example of package size and content. Number four, product claim, which is product performance promises. We move to the example of product claims. Number five, direction for usage. And this is the example for direction in usage and preparation. Number six, safety precaution. Not all the product have safety precaution, but this is the example of some product that have safety precaution. Number seven, the ingredients. This is the ingredient for Mr. Potato Hot and Spicy and Maggie Hot Milk. Kari Laksa Ayam Number 8 Name and the address of manufacturer This is the name and address for manufacturer of Safi Sheila and Maggie Hot Meals The last one which is Universal Product Code or UPC which is symbol for automated checkout and inventory control or well known as the last example is for Universal Product Code UPC or well known as Barcode. So, there are several informations they must include in the labeling. So, we divide it to three types. First is for food and the second is for non-edible items and the third is for the garments. For food, the information that must be labeled are nutrition facts, number of servings, 
serving size Calories per serving Calories derived from fat And amounts of special nutrients For non-edible items, there are certain special information that must include in its labeling The special information are First is the instruction to use the items the second is the safety precautions to use the items. These two information are the special components for the labeling for non-edible items. The second information they must include in the garments labeling. Name of manufacturer, country of manufacture, the fabric content, the size of the garments, and the cleaning instructions. So, the next one is about the express warranty. So, what is express warranty? Express warranty is a lighter explanation of the producer responsibilities if the product is found to be defective or otherwise unsatisfactory.